Hello everyone! I've been doing a few Snapchat My Story updates where I have been cooking and if anybody knows me, I cannot cook at all. I can boil some stuff, I can fry some meat but that's it. I don't know anything fancy. All the knowledge I have is from mom, dad and from household classes we had in um, junior high, but that's it. First time I did Korean dopoki. One thing that I didn't tell in my story that I burned it, but anyways, yesterday I, I fried meat, some rice and prawn chips, uh, prawn chips, and it was pretty damn delicious. While I was in school today and I was going through Tumblr, <coughs> I found a wonderful recipe, which is called mocha banana bread. Okay, this whole banana bread thing is some American stuff, I don't know, but probably for Finns it's something very sweet and something you get for a treat. So I'm going to make this bread so I can tell everyone that I had made bread. They can think it's something healthy, but it's going to have chocolate and all these amazing stuff. So I'm gonna do it with you guys right now. There we go with the recipe and with some good ass music. And, no, not this song. Nope. No. Yeah, this one. Oh yeah, look at those. Everything I'll need. There's only a few things I have to skip, but you'll see them later. Preheat oven to 350 Fahrenheit and spray 9 to 5 inch wolf pan with non-stick spray. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, first of all, I'm using Celsius myself and uh, this fucking thing makes no sense. Um, let's leave it there. Always make sure that the oven is empty. Yay! Got a secret, can you keep it? This is in cups and we use deciliters. I'm kind of cheating on this. But together, flour. I have these cups, but last time I did it with this, I kind of screwed up. So, one. Cacao powder, we should be unsweetened, but this is all I have. Cocoa powder. And again, I only have baking powder. Morning. Yes, welcome. Okay, this is just as messy as I thought. Just start to mix already. Oh shit! What is buttermilk? Right, because I don't have the soda, so I'll just use milk and also the ripe bananas. Let's see how this will go. Oh, that's very good. I don't know, it's supposed to look like this, but let's go on. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior? What's in the season? This kind of bread I like. I don't even know, can you actually do this, but I'm gonna do it right like this. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm gonna hide those chocolate pieces and banana pieces. I still have them somewhere. Oh, they're my baby ears. See you in 60 to 75 minutes. Woohoo! Alright, the top got really dark already, so I added some pieces of chocolate and now it's there with a little bit less heat. And also, gonna face the reality. Oh yeah, look how beautiful it is. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Oh, and by the way, five out of five, I recommend. Interesting, it's still not cooked from the middle. So I think I'm still gonna put it in the oven for a while and see how it will go. All right, let's see. I cut the piece of it out. Yeah, the sides are cooked nicely and the chocolate is melted. Middle is still kind of uncooked. To be honest, I forgot to add the espresso. Mm. The coconut gives it a quite special taste. Chocolate is good, always. Yeah, some kind of vanilla sauce or ice cream maybe would be amazing with this. And whatever I said about making healthy bread, I'll take it all back. This is plain food pour. Now this is after some more oven and it looks so much better. I'll say hello to my drink again. There's water, some lemon juice, blueberries, and a couple slices of cucumber. It's still kind of moist, but I don't know, is it uncooked anymore? Okay, I say. Well, the taste isn't any different. Definitely better when you don't have to, like, eat it with a spoon. Don't forget your espresso.